Yo, what's up guys? This is Mike Trade, and today you're joining me for another Gen 2 hunting tutorial. Before we get into today's tutorial, I do want to mention that this was suggested to me by a viewer of mine, so if there are any particular tutorials that you would like help with, uh, be sure to recommend them in the comments below, and I might just make a video for you. Additionally, if you find this video helpful or you enjoy it, please leave a like on the video, that helps my channel out a lot. But with that out of the way, I'm going to show you guys how you can hunt Lapras uh, as optimally as possible here in Generation 2. This works in Gold, Silver, and Crystal. And the first thing that we're going to need is one particular Pokemon. And this will probably look familiar if you've seen a lot of my other Gen 2 hunting tutorials, but it just so happens that the Ghastly line is so fantastic and so easy to obtain for shiny hunting in this game, so I always recommend them. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and bring this Ghastly here. And the reason why is because at level 20, which is the level that you encounter Lapras at, the only damaging move that it has is Body Slam, and if you bring a Ghost type, then you're completely immune to damage, so you don't have to worry about like healing or being knocked out or anything like that. The other reasons, of course, are Nightshade and Hypnosis, which are just generally great moves for shiny hunting or catching Pokémon. And I also recommend putting a Mint Berry on your Ghastly. Uh, this can be found north of Olivine City, west of Ecruteak City, by the Miltank Ranch. Super easy to get. And Mint Berry, for those that don't know, is the Gen 2 equivalent of Chesto Berry. It just wakes you up if you fall asleep. Unfortunately, this Lapras does no Sing, so the Mint Berry is like a one-time uh, get-out-of-jail-free card as you're weakening it and trying to put it to sleep yourself. So I definitely recommend this setup. But without further ado, we're going to go ahead and encounter Lapras here. And I do want to mention, for those that may not know, Lapras only appears in the bottommost layer of Union Cave on Fridays. So, if you want to hunt this on a day other than Friday, I'm going to leave a link in the description below that takes you to an article which explains how you can manipulate the time and date in Gold, Silver, and Crystal without negatively impacting uh, in-game events as far as timing goes. Now, I will say what you have to do to manipulate the date is different in Gold and Silver versus Crystal, so just make sure that you're reading the right section for the game that you're hunting in, but that will allow you to hunt on any day of the week, since this Lapras only appears normally on Fridays. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate the technique here. We're going to use Nightshade a couple times uh, in order to do damage to the Lapras. As you can see, getting put to sleep, the uh, Mint Berry is super helpful there, so we can continue to just whittle away its HP. So it looks like I can hit it uh, two more times to get it into the red without KOing it. It's going to be close, uh, and obviously it depends on the HP DV of the particular Lapras that you're trying to catch, but in this case we were able to Nightshade four times at level 21. We're going to try to put it to sleep. Perfect. And then at this point, I would start throwing Pokeballs, and it should be a pretty easy catch. Obviously, if it wakes up, you just put it back to sleep. So, I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. Uh, like I said at the beginning, please let me know if there are any questions or uh, any other tutorials that you would like me to make. And if you would like to watch me shiny hunt live, you can do so at twitch.tv forward slash MikeTroid34, where I'm live every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday evening, starting at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I would love to see you guys there, but until then, definitely take care, good luck on your hunts, and I'll see you in the next one.